I joined RCSC in 2001. I work in several countries like Yemen, uh, South Sudan, Afghanistan, uh, various activities from uh, prison visits, uh, visiting detainees, uh, detained in connection with the conflict or, or not, or, or political detainees, uh, also participate to food distributions, uh, activities connected to the dissemination of the law, uh, promoting the law, uh, teaching of the law to armed forces, uh, and also in the management, uh, I was in charge uh, of the north of Afghanistan, coordinating all the activities or uh, Darfur on other places like that. I started playing video games at the age of 10 or 11. Um, I think my first was a game console, you know, playing tennis. Uh, um, and so I never stopped uh, playing games. So the International Committee of the Red Cross, uh, RCRC in short, uh, is a neutral, independent human organization. Um, it was created 150 years ago, uh, in fact, on the battlefield, to reduce the effect of armed conflict on the non-combatants. Of course, uh, we also care a lot about the armed forces. We contacted uh, almost all the uh, private companies making video games and we express our interest our interest to use video games as a vector to promote uh, some uh, message like about the protections of uh, wounded uh, or the fact that on the battlefield not everything that's moving is a legitimate target so we wanted really in a positive uh, way use video game uh, to promote uh, the law of armed conflict The Healthcare in Danger campaign was launched by RCC in 2011. Um, the aim uh, is to address the current violence against the healthcare sector. Uh, we talk about healthcare sector, it means uh, medical doctor, uh, nurses, uh, ambulance driver, uh, and people doing first aid, for example. Uh, so in the, the last years, uh, we noticed an increase of act of violence uh, against uh, this, uh, the life savers, basically. So what we want to achieve is to raise the awareness of states, uh, armed forces, but also the general public. As a judge for the Mega Armour competitions, I don't have very specific uh, expectations outside the healthcare and danger part. So some can create submissions uh, you know, related to Medevac um, or, or things like that. I say, if somebody wants to get a mission when you play uh, a doctor or an ambulance driver, that could be fun. Not so sure, but why not? Uh, there can be also in the game mechanism. For example, uh, in the game, uh, there's not much care for the wounded. So maybe somebody can create a game mode where when you are wounded in the multiplayer game, then, uh, well, if you are rescued, for example, by the other sides, giving you first aid and taking you to, uh, you know, the, the, the hospital, then you want to respawn and you cannot help uh, your, your side. So that will maybe uh, bring a lot of interaction around and a lot of value to the wounded. So it can be an idea. What we offer the winners is, well, something that you cannot really pay with money is one week with RCSC staff in the field. So we cannot tell you now where, and uh, because, well, we are active in you know, many conflicts in the world, and uh, not all of them are suitable for such uh, visit. But we can imagine taking you to a place where our surgical team are providing healthcare and uh, war surgery uh, to war wounded maybe to show you uh, some or visit some places where people have fled their houses are uh, you know being displaced or refugees and so you can have you know live interactions with people uh, for whom the war is a reality what we offer you now is a little window to see the reality by yourself